Hey everybody, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Warriors 3 Custom Room Edition, where we will be taking on Part 3 of the Custom Night Mode in the Second Playroom. And for the Second Playroom, we are dealing with Wario, Luigi, and Ashley, which I've set them to their levels. I also set the camera power to the level. So, without further ado, we will take on Part 3 of the Custom Night Mode in the, in the Second Playroom and see what that's to offer for us. Okay, Wario Awareness Toy Car. Huh, interesting. Audio cue? Huh, interesting. Hey, uh, Mike couldn't make it, so Jack is going to be here for tonight's call. Uh, good old reliable Jack, am I right? <laughs> Alright, uh, good night. Hello? Okay, you're still there. Good. Answer a leave. Uh, anyways, we should be quick about this call. Got a lot of paperwork to do. <laughs> You're in the child's playroom, huh? Alright, so for some reason, there's an audio system linked to the game room's camera. If someone is in the room close to yours, use that audio to scare them off. Keep in mind, this may only work on certain ghosts, such as a younger childlike ghost. The only way to get in is a door behind you. So if you hear someone behind you, such as if they're breathing. Use a loud toy in there to scare them off. Also, be careful using the game room audio. It's loud and can possibly alert someone else. Alright, gotta go. Be safe, man. Okay, whoever's in the attic, which I'm assuming is gonna be Ashley since she's a child ghost, we have to use the... We have to use the audio... The audio... The audio sound. And then whoever comes up behind us, we have to use the toy car. And then we have to watch out for Wario's awareness, because if that gets full, then Wario will wake up and kill you, just like he would in the game room. So Wario has the same mechanic in the second player room as he does in the game room. Where we have to not wake him up. And I'm sorry if I stuttered, I had trouble pronouncing the audio cue or whatever. Okay, so I gotta check the attic camera. And I'm listening for breathing, because then I have to activate the toy car. Oh, Ashley's here, so I gotta use the audio cue. That's the audio cue running. Wow. That's actually a really weak audio cue. I thought we would have like a sound, like a, a bell ring or something, but footsteps? That's weird. Thankfully, it, and it's not even that loud actually, so I don't know why it would wake up Wario. Because I mean, the game room, the game room, it makes, the game room, the games are louder, which makes sense as to why Wario would wake up. Okay, so I gotta check for Ashley. Because for Ashley, we have to use the audio cue to get rid of her. And then I gotta listen for breathing. Because then I can activate the toy car. So far, I haven't heard breathing yet. Okay, so Luigi's going to be the one that's breathing. And if we hear him breathing, then we have to activate the toy car to scare him off. Like I just did right there. Huh, it's, in it's interesting that we're using the toy car for Luigi and not Ashley. Because, I mean, Ashley's more... Because, I mean, Luigi's not even a child ghost. He's more of an adult ghost. Ashley's more of a child ghost because she's a 15-year-old witch. So, I don't know why we're not using the toy car for her, but that's just weird. Because in Five Nights at Warriors Trap Within, we have to use a toy car to get rid of her in the playroom because she is a child, technically. 
So I don't know why that's the case for this game. Not the case for this game. Okay, I'm checking for Ashley because because I have to use the audio cue if Ashley's in the attic, which I saw her earlier in this video. Oh, here she is, speak of the devil. I gotta use the audio. Alright, that got rid of Ashley. Perfect. And it actually doesn't raise Wario's awareness that much. Because it's not that loud. In the game room, the video games will raise his awareness a lot. And you have to be quick about turning on and off the game, because otherwise he would wake up and kill you. So Wario is not as much of a threat for the playroom as he is for the game room. He's more of a threat in the game room because he's in the room with you. Oh, here's Luigi. Okay, I got rid of Luigi with the toy car. Like I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted, Wario is more of a threat in the game room because, um, because he will easily kill you because he's in the room with you and he's sleeping. But in this game, he's in... But in this room, he... But in the playroom, he's not in the room with you. He's just... He's somewhere off camera. Oh, here's Ashley. Wait. Okay, I got rid of Ashley, so that's good. I'm listening for breathing, because that's Luigi, obviously, that, that that makes the breathing sound, which he actually also does in, in Five Nights at Warriors 3 if you hide in the hallway. Alright, and we've beaten part three of the custom night mode in the second playroom, and that was another easy room to do. Alright, let's see what room we have next to do. Okay, so the next, let's take a look. The next room we have to we have to hide in is the attic, and the characters that are active for the room are Yoshi and Mario. And since I have enough time left to record, I will take on part three in the attic as well. So before I get started, I gotta I gotta set them to their levels. S since um since they're the only ones active, and I have to turn off everyone else. Okay, I'm going to set Mario and Yoshi to level 5, and then i got to get the camera power on. So, without further ado, we will take on part 3 of the custom night mode in the attic as well in this video, and see what that's offer for us. Oh wow, it's dark in here. Just like it is in Trapped With Them. Wow. Audio cue, wow. keep it on for too long. Okay, so I gotta check the garage and the, um, what's the other room? I gotta check the second bathroom. Because whoever comes from the garage or second bathroom, then 
then we and and if they're in the attic, then we have to use the um, audio cue. Okay. And the game room and indoor pool are closer, so I'm assuming if they come from there, then we have to use the audio cue. Okay, game room, let's see. Yeah, I just thought I'd check real quick the light. Okay, Mario's in the pantry, I just saw. Okay, I'm checking the indoor pool in the game room since they're the closest, because if they leave, then we have to use the audio cue. Okay, Mario's in the indoor pool, so i got to use the audio cue from the, the garage when he enters. And then I think for Yoshi, i got to use it from the second bathroom. Yoshi's in the game room. Oh, Mario's here. I gotta use the audio. Alright, that sent them back. Perfect. Okay, so we have an audio cue to use, which I have to use the correct one. I'm checking for Yoshi. He's nearby, so I gotta use the bathroom's audio and the garage as well. Yeah! Oh, I forgot to check for Yoshi. Uh, it's gonna be trickier than I th trickier than I thought. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera power just to make it easier so I can track them constantly because it's just gonna make it harder. All right, we'll try again. Hey there. Okay. I figured it out. So I gotta play the audio for both Yoshi and Mario. Okay. And I'm gonna check the game room and into a pool constantly since they're close. They're the closest to the attic. And like I said before, um, I turned. I put the camera power on level zero just so it doesn't drain when I'm using the camera, cause, cause apparently putting the camera down constantly to recharge it made it difficult. So that's why I have it off for this night. That should make things easier. Okay, Yoshi's in the game room, so that means I gotta play the audio cue soon. Okay. 
check the indoor pool for Mario since that's where he comes from. Yoshi comes from the game room. Oh, gotta use the audio cue. I guess I couldn't use the audio cue that time, huh? Oh, Yoshi's still in the game room. Okay, so that's why I couldn't use the audio cue that time. Because he's still in the game room. Okay. For a sure, while, I thought I was going to die because I got stumped for a minute. Okay, Mario's in the pool. Yoshi's in the game room. So, I got to use the audio for both of them. Alright, I just used the audio, so that got rid of Wario, that got rid of Mario and Yoshi, so that's a good thing. So I don't have to rely on the light for the attic, because I can just use the audio cues. And that does the trick, actually. Okay, Yoshi's in the game room. I'm thinking when both Mario and Yoshi come in, that's when I can activate the audio cue, because they have to both be in the room to do it. And Mario's not even in the pool yet. Yoshi's in the game room. I'm getting a, right, so f I'm getting a better understanding of the attic, which is a good thing, because it, it was a little bit confusing for me to deal with at first. Okay, Mario's in the, Mario's in the pool, Yoshi's in the game, left the game room, but he's going to come in soon, so... I gotta use the audio cue for when Mario comes in. There we go. Alright, got rid of them both. Perfect. I just gotta use the audio cue to get rid of them. Okay, Yoshi's back in the game room. Mario went back to his starting place, which is the garage. He's not in the pool anymore. Alright. Yoshi's in the game room, but he won't enter until Mario goes in the attic, so. So that's how it's going to work for the audio cue, otherwise I can't use it. And this is actually the third room I've been in that had an audio, this is the second room I've been in that had to use an audio cue. First one was the second playroom. So the mechanic is the same for the attic as a playroom, we have an audio cue to use. And so far, I only died to Yoshi. I haven't gotten I haven't gotten killed by Mario yet. Just Yoshi. Okay. Okay. Mario's about to come in the indoor pool, so that means Yoshi's gonna come in the attic too. Because I can't use the audio yet until they both come in. Alright, and we've beaten part 3 of the custom knife mode as well in the Atta. It was a little bit confusing, but we beat it nonetheless. And the good thing is we only died once, so... Just because of how confusing it was, but we beat it nonetheless. Okay, so let's see what room is next to do. Okay, so the next the next room we have to do is the garage, which 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 um which for the garage we're dealing with Luigi, Ashley, and Mario, which which we will take that on in part four of the custom night mode, which I will take on in the next video. So I will end my video here. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.